Apple Crush by Lucy Nisley. Apple Crush. Apple Crush. Apple Crush by Lucy Nisley. Jen McInnes. Chapter 1. Do you think we could train the cats to be spooky Halloween kitties? I don't think you can train cats. Besides, there's nothing spooky about these guys. You're too cute to be spooky. Maybe I could be a spooky cat. Every haunted hayride ha should have one, right? Does it really have to be scary? Hayrides are supposed to be fun. Spooky is fun. Not to me. Girls, it's time to head next door. Coming! You ready for work? Jeez, Mom, what happened? Oh, Walter and I have been getting a start on the mushroom garden. It's messy work. A lot of mud and bugs. Reese, you ready to help out me and your dad? Yes! Great, and I'll see you two after work. work. Good luck today. I'm going to catch so many worms. Thanks, Mom. So, you... Are you ready for your first day of school on Monday? No. It's not fair to have to start a new job and a new school in the same week. I like having a job. Market is over for the season and Mr. Fisher is nice. I think working at the pumpkin patch will be great. You're just saying that because of Mr. Fisher's nephew. What, Eddie? No, I'm just excited about pumpkins. Look, there he is. What? Where? Yep, totally psyched for pumpkins. Okay, I think everybody's here. Welcome to Andy and Jen from next door. It's their first year helping out at the patch, so everyone can show them the ropes. You guys probably know my nephews, Eddie, and his big brother, Leo, who's kind of in charge. Hi. We've also got Ree, who runs the concessions. Hey. And me and Tom, of course, who are the real pumpkin kings. <laughs> you may address us as your majesties. Maybe if you're trying to get a raise. We'll be, help, we'll be helping pick com customers pick and purchase the pumpkins. Personally, I like the lopsided ones. Eddie, Jen, and Andy, you'll be... Taking orders from Leo on the haunted hayride. Okay, team, have fun and listen to Leo. First, we gotta put up the reflectors around, along the route for the hayride. You guys start at the entrance. Me and Re are gonna work, start at the end, and we'll meet in the middle. These will mark the path I, I drive with the tractor in the dark. So. Be sure to brainstorm some ideas for scary stuff along the way, okay? Oops. Got it? Here, I'll get some of those. Thanks. Hey, is that your hat from J from Dragon Apprentice? Yeah, do you read the books? I love them. Which color dragon do you think you'd choose? Oh, definitely red. How about you? A blue, for sure. What are you two talking about? It's a graphic novel series. Dragon trainers are chosen by a dragon type and will have to learn how to fly with, with them and duel. It sounds kind of nerdy. No way! <laughs> yeah, it totally is. No, it's awesome. I used to go to the midnight release parties in the city. Everyone would dress up and wait in the line together at the comic shop. Oh, yeah? Are you guys both from the city? Yeah. I live here on the weekends. Andy and her sister live here, still live here during the, in the city during the week. Jen lives up here. She's starting school on Monday. Do you go to school here? 
Nah, my Uncle Tom homeschools me, and my brother for, for his team, for his term. Our school out west is mostly farm kids like us, so it doesn't really matter to start up till winter. It doesn't So it doesn't really start up until winter. Oh, cool. I wish I could do homeschooling. Not me. I love my school. It's okay. We mostly read and do workbooks. You should see him. And Re and your brother, boyfriend, or and girlfriend? I don't know. They knew each other since last year. I think he likes her. That's so romantic. The They only see each other every fall. I guess so. Hey, did you kitties finish with the reflectors already? Already? It's almost dinner time. Oh, I guess that's it for today. Be, be back tomorrow to map out the realm. Next weekend, we'll start on the decorations. If I make it to next weekend. Oh, stop. It's going to be fine. You really worried about this new school, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I've never been to a new school before. I won't know anyone there, and I won't know what to talk about. Hey, why don't you borrow my drag? Team Dragon Hat to wear. If then, if anyone says anything, you can tell them if you if they re- read the books and talk about that. Cool. Thanks. Just take good care of it, or I'll set my dragon on you. <laughs> See you next weekend. See you then. Bye, Eddie. You're so lucky. What? Why? Eddie gave you his hat. I'm just borrowing it. I know. A boy's hat. I wonder if that means he likes you. Does lending someone their hat mean they like you? I don't remember learning that in health class. You know what I mean. Well, I don't know. But he did help you carry the reflectors. <gasps> That's true. Ugh. What was that? The roosters. Huh? The roosters are at it again. There are too many of them. There are too many of them. They're always fighting and picking on the girl chickens. Oh, no. Mom says we're going to have to figure out something before they kill each other. What does that mean? I think you already know what it means. Stop it, you. Leave them alone. You're awfully fierce for something so fluffy. I know. I miss when they were just little chickies. This is the fifth time this week we've got ha- we've had to break up the fights. Attack! Rawr! You're both frozen. Zap! <laughs> that was great. Are you little wood gremlins? Nuh-uh. We're fairies. You scared us. Mud fairies. You're back. Uh, come check out the mushroom hut. They must have finished it. Let's go see. We won't inoculate them until the spring, but it's all set up. Inoculate? Doesn't that mean to give it a shot? Kinda. We insert spawned owls into the holes in the log, and then they'll sprout mushrooms. They grow right out of fertilizer and rotted logs. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, super cool, Mom. Oh yes, Jessica, very interesting. Reese and her little friend Fiona weren't much help. They spent the whole time building a fort. Fiona and Ree's little sister. Fiona's Ree's little sister. You guys work with Ree, right? You should go peek on their fortress up in, by the apple orchard. Wow, cool. Go away. No humans allowed. You're too big anyway. Okay, okay. Ugh, fine. Do you think Ree's little sister knows if Ree and Leo are dating? Huh? I don't think so. It. I just think it's romantic. Ugh, romance. Save it for Valentine's. I'll take Valentine's over Halloween. <laughs> don't let our new boss hear you say that. I kind of doubt there is a hayride of romance in February. Well, there should be. A hayride of love. No way. Hayrides are strictly spooky. And I'm the spookiest. Bad 
Cats and Ghosts and Zombies. It's gonna be awesome. I can't believe you're not creeped out by this stuff. It does freak you out. Hmm. Chapter 2. School Bus. Jen, the bus is almost here. Are you ready? Here it goes. Bye, honey. Good luck today. Can't wait to hear all about it. Hey, is anyone sitting here? Nope. Go ahead. Thanks. Look at this cute couple. How old are you? Huh? I'm 12. Stop it, Summer. She's new. Ollie here is only 10, but he's in the 6th grade. I'm 11. Here's our little class pet, aren't you, Ollie baby? And now he's got a little girlfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Okay, not a good start. No hats allowed in the classroom. You can have this back after school. No doodling either. Okay, class, that's a half hour for recess. Have fun. So you like the Dragon Apprentice series, huh? Oh, I didn't know anyone else. Anyone was in here. Oh, it's fine. Students are welcome during recess. Me library is Sue library. I'm glad to see the drawing table is getting some use. Oh, so I can stay? Of course. Any free periods can be library periods. You know, if you like the Dragon series, I have something else you might be interested in. We just got it in. It's right over... Here, take a look. Ooh. Thanks. This looks cool. I'll get you set up with a card and you can take it home. What's your name? Jen McInns. You must be a new student. Do you live in town? No, outside of town, on a farm. That must be nice. It's okay. I'm Miss Marie. Mrs. Marie. Welcome to King Middle. Thanks. Up, the bell tolls for three. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow at recess. Don't forget your beautiful drawings. Let me know what you think of the book. I will, thanks. Hey there, how was school? It was fine, I guess. I remember sixth grade. It was the best. The best? Really? Yep. It's all down here, hill from here. I did meet a nice teacher. A teacher? What about kids? Huh? You know, besties, BFFs, friends forever, all that jazz. I sort of thought I had those back in my old school. Well, brand new best friends forever then. I'm not sure. People really stay friends for that long. Well, I'm sticking around. You've got a friend for life right here. You're not my friend. You're my mom's boyfriend. Uh, and I can't be your friend too? Huh, I guess. So, friends, why are you being so nice to me? What do you mean? I'm the nicest guy on planet Earth. Okay. I'm gonna do go do my homework. 
See you around, friend. Chapter 3. This looks cool, but I don't know about the girl main character. Hey, what's wrong with the girl main character? Meg is awesome. I don't know. She's... Huff. It doesn't matter. Meg is a cool magician. Why do you care if she's a girl? Hey, stop talking about your nerdy book. We've got, a, well, got to get to work. Because someone has to organize this hayride without much help. Okay, right here, I was thinking we could put up some tissue paper ghosts. What about zombies? I could jump out of the corn, corn and be like, rawr. Uh, I think the children on the hayride might be a little too scared by that. It's a haunted hayride. It's supposed to be scary. Not zombie scary. Tissue paper goats scary. Tissue paper zombies, maybe? Moving on. Here is the, here in this clearing, we have the witches. Oh, yeah, we did that last year. We had these scary sounds playing, like screams and cackles. I'm not sure the witches on their own. Well, I'm sure the witches on their own are scary enough. Andy, we're supposed to make it scary. You can't keep taking all the scary parts out. Some of us prefer a spooky hayride to a terrifying hayride. But it's not just your hayride. I'm sure Eddie agrees with me that we should make this suitable for all ages. Don't you, Eddie? Uh, sure. I guess so. Okay, whatever. Great, then we're all agreed... Cool, now that it's planned, we can set up the decorations, and next weekend we'll do all the lights and sounds and stuff. That sounds fun. Sorry to miss it. Huh? Jen's going to the city to see her dad next weekend. She won't be here. It's okay, you won't miss much. The decorations sound more fun anyway. Oh, the city. Fun. Got any big plans? Dunno. I'm mostly just gonna hang out with my dad. Hey, you three, ready to turn this into a cornfield of horror? See if you can haul out, haul out the decorations from storage. The witches, the witches should be in the back of the dairy barn, and the spider stuff in, is in the loft of the hay barn. That, that'll need two people to carry it out here. We'll go get the spider stuff. Jen, you grab the witches, and we'll meet back here. Aye, aye, Captain Bossy Boots. Hi. There you are, ladies. Thanks for being on my side about the hayride stuff. I mean, look at this stuff. It's gross. No problem. You shouldn't be scared. It's all fake. I know, but it just gives me the chills. It's okay. Hey, come here. This stuff is all so dusty. We should probably clean it. <laughs> Why bother? It's supposed to be dirty gro and gross looking. Okay, fine. I'll, let's set up the web first. It's so big, it'll probably take all three of us. You seem to handle it okay. Okay, then. Set up the witches, and Eddie and I will set up the web. Fine. Hmm. There, you can hang out here on your own. You don't need those two. You'll be ev you'll be scarier lurking over here anyway. The witches are all set up. What's next? That's probably it for now. We'll do more setup tomorrow. It's getting late. Good work today. You can head home. Your mom and dad already left, and, and Eddie and Andy are still working on the spider stuff. He's not my dad. I probably should wait for Andy. Suit yourself. Uh, suit yourself. Feel free to hang out with us while you wait for them to finish up. Uh, that's okay. I think I... I'll head home after all. Tell Andy I left, okay? Sure thing. Bye, Jen. See you later. 
Hi, what you doing? Playing fairies. Oh, what kind of fairies? You can't play. You're too big to be a fairy. Okay, fine. Have fun. Mom? Mom, are you up here? Mom? Oh, Jen. Oops, sorry. Sweetie, I've asked you to knock. I know. Sorry, I forgot. It's okay. Just please remember. Okay, sure, Mom. Gotta go. Ew. Chapter 4. Are you excited to go back to the city and see Dad? Yeah. Your dad says he set up a nice room for you while you're there. That's cool. Are you going to see any of your old friends? I don't think so. Jane's visiting her dad this weekend, and Jesse is in soccer, so he's got a game. I'm sure it'll be a nice visit anyway. Sweetie. I'm sorry things didn't work out with your dad. We really tried. I know. You know, we both love you more than anything. I know. You'll always have uh, us as your mom and dad. I know, mom. Marriages are compl complicated. Ugh, la 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 la. Sorry, I just don't want you to be nervous about this weekend. I'm not. It's okay if you want to talk to your dad about me and Walter. What? Walter and I are serious, and your dad knows all about it. Gross. I'm just saying, it's not a secret, and you don't have to feel awkward. I didn't feel awkward before this conversation. Okay, here we are. Got everything? Your homework? Yep. Hi, Peanut. How's it going? Hi, Dad. Bye, sweetie. Have fun. Bye, Mom. Same time Sunday? Sure. Cool car, Dad. What do you want to do for dinner? How about steak at Delusa's? Yeah, awesome. Okay, you'll have to change into something a little fancier first. Ugh, Dad. Bet you missed the food down here, huh? Yeah, but the food on the farm is pretty good too. I miss getting to clo to cl to choose from a menu though. Hey Sam, our best customer. Hi Katie, this is my daughter Jen. She's visiting for the weekend. Hi sweetie pie. Uh, do you like ice cream? Uh, sure. I'll bring some ice cream over later, okay? Ah, you take such good care of us. Ah, oh, it's nothing, Sammy. You're the best, Katie. So, how much homework do you have this weekend? Not much. This is a new school and a new start, Jen. I want you to be focused on your schoolwork this time. Dad, school just started. We barely learned anything. And that's no reason to start slacking off already. I thought we were going to have fun this weekend. We are. After you finish your schoolwork. Ugh. So glad you're here, Peanut. Me too, Dad. Are you doing your homework? Yes. Country Jen, City Jen. Jeez, Dad, no cereal even? Like and subscribe for.